everyone welcome back to my channel um, today's look I'm gonna be doing this soft smoky eye with browns and blacks I, I use today the Lorac Pro 1 palette and all the matte shades well most of the matte shades along the top and if you want to learn how to get this look just keep on watching okay so we're gonna be starting today with our eyes <clears throat> my favorite thing to do when I do a smoky eye is to put tape on the on the corners of my eyes because I feel like it, it's easier to clean up, it's easier to line it up with my eye. It looks nicer. And I just like the look. So on my face, I already have moisturizer, my primer. Like that. <clears throat> my moisturizer, my primer, and lip balm. I'm going to start off with the Lorac Pro 1. I know I use these palettes a lot, but it's because I love them because I find that they're really easy to use and also they're accessible you can buy these on Amazon the I love stage essence by essence cosmetics I really love this I've tried other things I've tried the primer potion by urban decay not my favorite I think it's too oily for me and I don't find that it helps with the staying power so I'm just gonna um, apply this all over my eye just to prime blend it all in and I'm gonna go in with a flat brush this one it's kind of thick but it's good for all over lid color or all over eye from the lid up to the crease I'm gonna take the shade here cream nope. I've hit pan on it already, but it's because it's such a good color. I'm just gonna place that all over my eye. This is gonna help blend the eyeshadows when we place more eyeshadows on top. It's also gonna give an even canvas for <clears throat> the smokiness. It's gonna look a lot nicer. And I've tested out this theory before and it actually works using more shadows to blend out other shadows works amazing so we're just gonna pack this all over the lid all over the eyeball actually my camera wasn't recording so I'm just gonna start this over again so I have a cream base the cream eyeshadow from the Lorac Pro 1 I'm gonna place a tape Following my lower lash line, like that. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush, like this, with the shade taupe from the palette, which is this one right here. Tap off the excess, and I'm gonna start building it slowly from this outer corner right here. I'm going to place the most pigment on the outer corner and then I'm going to blend it in onto the eyelid and in the crease. Like that. And because we have the cream shade underneath, it's easier to blend and have no harsh lines. You take a little bit more of that taupe, tap off the excess, and place that in the outer corner like that. And see that tape is creating a sharp edge right here that we're gonna blend out after when we take off the tape, but it's just to ensure like a clean edge and it gives your eye much more lift. Take a smaller brush like this, it's a dome brush still fluffy 
I'm going to take the shade Sable. Let me show you quickly. The shade right here, which is next to the darkest brown, and this is the black. The shade Sable right here. I'm going to take that again on the outer corner and just build that on top of the other shade. The lighter shade. You want to do this because it helps build the dimension on the outside and it helps blend everything together. When you look at the, the eyeshadows, they're going to look, um, and they're going to have that gradient effect. And again, you want to take your fluffy brush. This just has a little bit of the taupe color on it. We're gonna blend, blend that all out. Just like that. Next, I'm gonna take a flat brush, just this one right here. And I'm gonna take the color taupe again and I'm going to place this, tap off the excess, I'm going to place this on my, on my outer eyelid. The eyelid, but on the outer part, the closest to the outer corner. And I'm just placing this here because we want more pigmentation. So if you place it with a flat brush, the pigmentation is a lot um, more packed on. Whereas if I use a fluffy brush, it's a little less but we're still gonna use a fluffy brush to blend it all out. Right now we're just placing the color and then we're gonna we'll take again our fluffy brush and just blend in all those colors. We're going to take again the flat brush with a little bit of sable this time. We're going to place that again in the outer corner just to darken it up a little bit. Like that. Just a little. And we're going to take our fluffy brush again, our smaller fluffy brush, and you're going to blend. Now we're going to take my smallest fluffy brush and I'm going to use the shade Espresso, which is the dark brown shade right here. This is the black. This is the dark Espresso. Espresso. So I'm going to place that, as you guessed it, on the outer corner, but I'm going to take this shade in just a little bit further than the rest, just because I want this to be really dark and smoky. And the shades that we place underneath, you're going to help blend this color out so it doesn't look so harsh. We're just going to place it right now alongside the tape, and then we're going to fluff it out, or blend it out with the fluffy brush, like so. You see the darkness from the inner corner to the outer corner, like that. I'm just gonna place that in the inner corner. Just to give it a little bit of brightness. Not too much, just a little. Okay. I'm gonna place that on the side too. Yeah. 
Okay, so now that we have our eyes done, well, the eyeshadow part, we're gonna remove the tape. You wanna do this really slowly, <clears throat> so you don't hurt the skin. And the sharp outer corners like that. Okay. So now we are going to work on the face. I already put my moisturizer, which is the Clinique Dramatically Different. I love that moisturizer. And I'm gonna start off with concealer under my eyes. I like to place this concealer. Under my eyes, this is the Sonia Kashuk um, All Covered Up Concealer in shade number two, Ivory. I really like this concealer because it's it's kind of thick, so it helps to conceal the bags under my eyes. So I'm just gonna take this on my ring finger. Just a little bit of this goes a really long way. Like that, see? And I'm just gonna bring that down because I do have redness right in this area here and I find that this concealer really covers that up. And I only put a little bit of this and I put it before my foundation because it it's easier to blend. And if I put this after I find that it, it looks cakey on my skin especially under my eyes and I not a big fan so I wanted to try it out a little more and test it out in different ways so I figured maybe I can put it on before I try my foundation see how it works like that and I did like it a little bit next I'm gonna go I'm gonna go in with my foundation that I used to really love well I started using um, the Dream Mousse, Dream Smooth Mousse by Maybelline. I really love this foundation, but I'm running low on it, as you can see. And um, my local Walmart is out of stock, so I have to like configure myself in a different way. I also had the Maybelline Fit Me foundation, which I really love the the smooth and dewy. I think it is dewy and smooth. Something like that. I love that foundation. It's amazing. But again, my Walmart is always out of stock. I need to find it somewhere. But for now, I'm going to use this one, which is the CoverGirl Clean Sensitive Skin Formula. I really love this one, but I haven't used it in a long time. And I also haven't used it with a brush. I used to use this with a sponge. But I need to buy myself a new sponge. So in the meantime, I'm just going to use a brush. But hopefully these two work together. Just like my Maybelline Dream Smooth Mousse. My chin. Just a little because you know you want to blend it out. And if you put too much, then it's harder to get rid of after when it's already on your face. And I'm just going to stipple this all over my face. I think the color is still good. Still feels good. It's been a while since I used this foundation. Just want to blend it all along the hairline. And you can still see a bit of my redness, which isn't a big deal. Okay. For the most part, it still looks good. I remember why I like this foundation. Using the Salon Perfect Brow Pomade in dark brown. Where's my brow? And going in with this uh, angled brush. <laughs> it has a spoolie on the end. I'm just gonna. Comb out my brows quickly, and then I'm going to fill them in.
done with the eyebrows. Now we're going to be doing our eyeliner. As you guys all know, I love my Steel Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner. I can't get enough. Our contour kit. This is the Kat Von D shade and light palette. I'm gonna take the shade down here on a round top brush. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. Like that. along the hairline like I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer place that under my eyes just a little because we did conceal our dark circle this is just more for highlighting purposes I say a little and then I put this much easy to go overboard and I'm gonna blend that out with my pointed kabuki We're gonna take the same brush with this e.l.f. Uh, translucent powder. I use the yellow side. Um, I think if you were to swirl it all around, it would be pretty much the same, but we'll just stick to the yellow and I'm just gonna place that under the eyes. Just like that, and that's gonna set that concealer in place. Now we're going to do blush. So I have my Jordana blush palette here. I have them all in a Z palette. Like this, this is a large Z palette. And I'm going to be using, I'll go with this peachy shade right here. I'm gonna take that on, oh, there's something in my eye. I'm gonna take that on this fluffy brush here, that on my cheeks. This with the light hand. I'm gonna add a little bit of Gerard Cosmetics nude lip gloss. I use this lip gloss so much. I think almost every tutorial I use this. But because it's just a nice shade it's very simple and it goes with any eye look pretty much and 
I'm just going to place um, a light coat of mascara on my upper and lower lashes. I didn't even curl my lashes today because I'm just not feeling it, to be quite honest. I'm not feeling it. So I'm just going to apply a light coat of this mascara. This is the Lancome, sorry, Clinique High Impact Mascara. I really like this for like days when I don't really feel like doing a whole face. Well, I did do a full face, but like this is just easier to take off, pretty much. I'm just gonna hit my lower lashes with that quickly, just a little, not too too much. And this completes the look. 